Hey, how we doing guys? Wanted to make a uh, quick unboxing video of a knife I chose to get based on uh, knife reviewers um, reviews of it. <clears throat> and it, it appears that QSP is starting to make quite the name for themselves, offering an extremely well-made knife for a great price. Um, I took it out of the shipping package, but I have not unboxed it yet. I wanted to do that with you guys. And where I got this knife from, I'll leave it down in the comments. And uh, then you can run over there and get them. I think they're still available. Uh, so no further ado here. Uh, again, we obviously have the QS Peak Penguin. So let's get on into it. That is a super nice box. I really like that box. We got some stickers. <laughs> you know, these stickers are... They, they just mean everything to us collectors, and we hold on to them, and it just... You just... When you keep something like this, it it shows where you got the knife from, and and it just, it just adds to the... Uh, frankly, the authenticity of where you got it from, and and that you got a 100% authentic product. So anyways, got some stickers. Then we also got a card here from QSP with the knife dimensions. We basically got a three inch blade with a four inch frame lock handle. And then um, the steel is CPM S35VN. It's a Penguin QS130 exclusive. And uh, you can pause that if you want to look at that a little more. So I'm going to lay that down here. And then we'll... Boy, that's packaged very well. There it is. Now I paid uh, about $95 for this version. This Again, this version has CPM S35VN steel carbon fiber scale on on the show side and the titanium on the lock bar side side with an excellent clip that is a very nice clip just enough spring to it we got a dual side thumb studs a decent thickness blade stock and just enough jimping to let you know it's there Okay, let's check the action on the closing. <laughs> That's some excellent, excellent closing action. Especially from this knife sitting in my truck at zero degrees for the last six hours. Alright, let's check the uh, opening action. Oh, um, that, that feels like it's assisted. That pivot is extremely well done. Extremely well done. Oh yeah, that's one of the nicest pivots I've felt, and I got some good knives. Size comparison, let's put it up to the Delica by Spyderco. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a smaller knife, but it has a nice blade. It's got plenty of blade to get the job done. Thickness compared to the Delica. If not identical, the QSP might be a hair thicker. Yeah, it's thicker, definitely. We got a flat grind, stone washed blade. Put it up against the PM2. The Penguin has better action than the PM2. But I've used the heck out of this PM2. And you can see the PM2 has got quite the size on it. So this is a pocket knife that you'll just be taking to work, I mean, or whatever you decide to do with it. Um, it's not a large knife, as you can see. Plenty of grip. And, and it bags to be worked. That's a utility style blade that uh, you'll be having all kinds of fun with. Your blade steel marking. 
and QSB. That's what I like to see. The only knives I like to see billboarding on is Microtech. So that's that. That's your QSB Penguin with excellent steel, excellent scales. You can't get much better than that. Excellent packaging. Some of the one of the best boxes I've ever received from a knife company, hands down. It's borderlines on a display. It's such a nice box. Well, okay, it's going to be short. My battery's running low, but I wanted to get this out to you guys, and so you guys can get over there and get you one if you're interested. You know, none of these guys sponsor me or anything, man. I just like sharing the things that I'm interested in, and some of you are. And, um, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And, um, thank you guys. Thank you very much for giving me your time and and uh, enjoy your day. Thanks. Bye.